Jay Dog, day 24. Today we woke up at by 6 a.m. Uh, brushed my teeth. As I said yesterday in the first 15 seconds of the video. Uh, today was a claw run, which means we ran out to the track, grabbed ourselves a 45 pound weight, and then you have four people and they each get it in a corner of the track and then the guy in the one corner has the 45 pound plate over his head and he sprints down that he hands it to the other guy and then he sprints to the next guy and while he's sprinting the guy that was originally holding the plate has to run 300 meters back to where he started and then and get ready for to get the plate again so he can hold it and run back. If that made sense. And you do 10 laps of that, so two and a half miles. And my group lapped everyone. We were, we were best in it. Just, we just killed it. So, yeah, 10 laps. And that was... I mean, it wasn't the hardest workout we've done. I personally thought it was like, pretty easy. Uh, then we ran back, took a shower, ate breakfast, did all the the usual stuff. Except we did have linen exchange this morning. So I got my new pillowcase. I got rid of Impetigo bed. <laughs> That's what I've been calling my bed. Because I... <laughs> because I got it in my ear. <laughs> uh, the... Yeah, so... Technique this morning. Today we did stuff off of, like, if you have a collar... T if someone collar ties you and you over collar them, and we worked, like, singles and stuff off of that. Maybe with some, like, low smith ankle peg stuff uh, and that one was like a really early one it was like 9.45 to 11.15 and then hard practice wasn't until 3.20 so I came back, showered went to lunch, ate came back and took an hour and a half nap it was beautiful because for some reason I was just exhausted us falling asleep during technique while they show the moves I'm just back there sleeping. <laughs> uh, yeah, so hard practice it was not too difficult. I feel like I'm getting better. I feel like my shot defense is better. I feel like my shots are better. Just all around better, you know. I, I just feel good about it. Uh, then we went I went to oh yeah then, then I went to dinner after I had practice oh yeah for conditioning we just did sprints and I had practice uh yeah so dinner that came back had Jay talk we did visualization Except this time Snyder did it. And he, he's not very good at relaxing people. But he's really funny. And then Jay talked to us about the same usual. You have choices, and weekly schedule, a lot of stuff like that. And then Snyder talked to us about his high school wrestling career. He's really disappointed. His senior year, he lost in the semis for state against a kid he should have beat. Really disappointing. Uh, yeah, he just talked about not psyching yourself out for matches and stuff like that. Again, Jay talked about the benefit of visualization. That at one time, he ran a course one day and he did it in 20 minutes and then 
he didn't run at all for t two weeks and just visualized running that same course and cut off two minutes off his time the next time he ran. It's insane. We've also had the golfer story about a guy that got trapped in like prison war or whatever and he visualized golfing every day. He came back 18 strokes better. Uh, yeah. So review, we did toe tap and we were the champs. My group, we were the champs. We were going crazy, screaming, yelling. Even better, because beat the uh, the team we lost to last time. Again, showing group one dominance. Yeah, and before we did that toe tap, we did some review of like double legs. That's not important. Uh, so I came back, took a shower, went to Dairy Queen, had a blizzard, and then filled out my journal and folded my laundry. And that's day 24 at j -Rob. Tomorrow, I'll do about the same thing. Except it'll be day 25. Yeah.